Seven baby barn owls are being cared for right now by animal experts in the South Bay after facing a difficult first few days of life. The newborn owls were discovered inside a bale of hay that was delivered to a feed store in San Jose. That bale was driven in from the Central Valley. For more, we're joined now by Ashley Kinney from the Wildlife Center of Silicon Valley, where workers are helping those owls to recover. Hmm. Appreciate you coming on today. So let, let's talk about how these owls are doing and, and what steps you and your colleagues are taking to care for them. Well, thank you for having us on tonight. We really appreciate sure. it. Um, so we have the young owlets in care. And right now what we are doing is ensuring that they're hydrated, eating well and thriving. And our goal is obviously to return them, hopefully <laughs> to the Central Valley where we suspect they came from. All right. So what's the, the long term prognosis for each of the owls? They're all expected to, to be fully rehabilitated and then and then return to the wild. Yes, so they're thriving in care and we ha they have great an excellent prognosis at this point um, and we are hopeful that they will all return together in the next two months uh, to the wild. And how do you decide where where you take them once they're ready to, to be back out on their own? So since we don't know exactly where they came from, since they came in on a, um, a hay delivery, we are working with governing agencies on determining a perfect release site once that time comes. Um, and like I said, we're hopeful that within two months they're going to be fully self-sufficient and we will work with um, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services on determining a perfect release site for them. And then once they are released back into the wild, do, do you continue to, to monitor them in any way to make sure that they're, they're doing okay? Well, while they're in our enclosures, we make sure that they're fully self-sufficient and they are able to provide on their own and survive on their own in the wild. And um, unfortunately, we do not have the ability to track them post-release at this point, um, but we definitely make sure that they are set up um, for full success once they're released. This sounds like it was quite an ordeal that they, they went through here uh, after being born. What, what do you, how much do you know about how they wound up in this bale of hay and, and then wound up at the feed store down in San Jose? We actually are still trying to figure out what happened. Um, we are not sure exactly where they came from, from the Central Valley. Um, all we know is they arrived on a hay bale, a hay delivery um, to a local feed store in San Jose. All right. Uh, are you and your colleagues, I imagine you are probably growing, uh, growing a bit attached to, to these <laughs> outlets? It, it is hard, you know, but we always have to keep that um, wild nature in mind and we want to yeah. make sure that we are releasing fully self-sufficient wild animals. How We do love them. We do love our job and we couldn't think of anything else to do with our in our career path. And it's just amazing to be able to work with these animals and the respect that we have for them allows us to, you know, keep them wild and ensure that they are going to be fully self-sufficient once they're released. All right. Well, that is certainly what we are hoping for. Uh, appreciate all the work that you are doing to, to nurse Thank those you. outlets back to health. Um, uh, appreciate your time today. A Ashley Kinney from the uh, Wildlife Center down there in the South Bay. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. Take care.